It is NFL Divisional Rounds. They kick off tomorrow at 4.30 and 8.15, and then uh, Sunday at 3 and 6.30. Four teams compete for their chance to get even further in the playoff race and in the chance to win the Super Bowl. We'll give my predictions coming up. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to get right into it and talk uh, uh, some NFL and who I have going into the conference championship games, both the AFC and the NFC. It is a tight race nevertheless and right now um, eight teams are in the running. So we're going to break down every single game. Let's start with the Chiefs versus the Jaguars. Uh, the Jaguars throw an upset last week I guess we can say. And a great comeback. One of the best comebacks of the year, uh, of the season. It will go down as, like I said, one of the better comebacks that's happened this year. The Chiefs, a week of preparation, a week to get ready to continue to advance and uh, to just get that offense dialed in. I think they were expecting a much harder challenge. No offense to Jaguar fans. I think that the Chiefs were expecting to face a tougher Chargers team. I don't think they were thinking that they were going to go against uh, Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Uh, these two teams played back on November 13th. Uh, the Chiefs won 27-17. It was a pretty handed win. I, I mean, you know, I guess, look, <laughs> no, nothing against the offense ran in Jacksonville. Obviously, it's a huge accomplishment to be here, but just look at the depth of a team in Kansas City. Number one, probably the star quarterback of... The NFL right now, no offense to Tom Brady, he's obviously the GOAT, but when you look at it, who's the best right now, I don't know if it is Tom Brady anymore. I don't know if we can say that Tom Brady is still the best. Um, I would like to think so. Uh, excuse me there. I like to think that he is still the GOAT of, and the greatest of all time. And he is the greatest of all time, but actively, Patrick Mahomes is what, the best he can get. I think he is ten times better than uh, Trevor Lawrence. I think he just packs a heavier punch if you really want it, honestly. And uh, that heavier punch is what you're going to need to win a playoff game. With that, I take the Chiefs to go to the finals. I don't think the Jaguars do. They'll put up a fight, uh, but nothing, I don't think, to go against them. Uh, the other game that night is the Giants versus the Eagles. And these two teams have seen uh, good matchups a while. They played back on December 11th and uh, January 8th. Uh, the 8th, January 8th, Eagles won 22-16. But there was a lot of people being sat. There wasn't a lot of the starters playing. Back in December 11th, the Eagles won 48-22, and that was normal rosters and everything. The Eagles have won both matchups this year, one that really mattered. The Giants last week played probably one of their best games of the season, I would say. They played great football against a uh, good Vikings team, a fraud, but good Vikings team. And they played good, hard fought football. Now, the Eagles, again, one of those teams that are sitting, they sat a whole week, went through this during my predictions video. Probably the team, I think, is another one. Another fraudulent team. I don't know if the quarterbacks got it. I would take Daniel Jones over Philadelphia's quarterback um, all day. I would take him uh, over uh, the Eagles. Um, <laughs> there are so many questions about the quarterbacks, and uh, it, it, it's just. I feel like, maybe this is wrong, maybe this is right, you, you guys be the judge. I feel though, I feel as if we will play all these games and, and we'll, we'll put a ton of stock into all these games and it will just end up being a eh, slate, right? These, the, you, you put so much stake in a team and it just will be eh. And I feel like a lot of people are putting a ton of stake in a Eagles team that's proven what? An Eagles team that's done what? And the answer is nothing. They have won 14 out of their uh, 15, 16, 17 games. 14 out of their 17 games this year. Well, whoop de doo I feel like the Giants are rolling. I feel like their team is playing well. And this is going to be my upset of the weekend. I'm taking the Giants over the Eagles all the way. 
all the way here, I got the Giants going to the next round of these playoffs uh, into the conference championships. I feel like the, the Giants are my upset. I just like that matchup. I like that matchup. Even though they lost it twice, I still like that matchup. And all you Giants fans, get in the comments. Start hyping up your team here. I've been on them since the start of these playoffs. I'm not a Giants fan. I do not like the Giants. Why would I? I'm a Patriots fan. But you got to hype up a team here. you got to take the underdog. And besides the Jaguars, who I don't think stand a chance, I think the Giants stand a legitimate chance of winning the Super Bowl. It's going to be tough. But I think they stand a chance to go to the Super Bowl. So there's my, there's my upset. Here's the matchup that I think we all look forward to. The Bengals and the Bills. And we were about to get it on Monday Night Football until, of course, that, that, that terrible incident happened uh, with DeMar Hamlin. And, and he is doing great right now. Uh, he's made a basically almost 100% full recovery. And he's doing great. And so with that, we can just focus here on this football matchup. And hopefully, God forbidding something else happens, we will get this totally matchup in tonight. And the Bengals and the Bills will play each other. And obviously, both teams are powerhouses. And I would almost put both teams on an equal level. I'll give the Bills a little bit. But I, I put both teams on a very equal standard. I think that the Bengals have a star in Joe Burrow and Chase. And I think that you know, the Bills have a, they definitely are a more deep team. They're definitely a more deep team there, the Bills, with uh, 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 Allen and, and Singletary. And if you want to keep going, you can, you know, Beasley, so on and so forth with people on that team. Diggs, we can go on with that team. They're a very good, deep team. But last week against the Miami Dolphins, Miami Dolphins, they let Miami score. Uh, 27, or was it 30, 30 points on them? Was it 12, 30? Yeah, they scored 31 points on them. You cannot let up 31 points and win this game this weekend. I'm going to tell you that right now, Bills fans. You're not, if you let up 31 points to the Dolphins, you cannot put 31 points up against this Bengals team. And this Bengals team just played a hard-fought battle. A battle against the Ravens, 24-17. Obviously, the score doesn't show how much of, if you watch that game, that was a battle, a physical, mental battle. It wasn't just a football game. It was a all-out war out there on that game. So th take it. Take a team that just played a, such a hard-fought game, and, a, and both teams had to battle it, you know. But if you almost lose to the, the, the Dolphins, how are you going to expect? Unless something changes, how are you going to beat this Bengals team? And the answer is you won't. You won't. You will not beat this Bengals team playing the football that you played last weekend. That's why I'm taking the Bengals to win this game. I feel like the Bills are just not in the playoff mindset. They are not as playoff ready as they were before. Let's go Bengals. Let's go Joe Burrow. That would make a really good AFC uh, final. All right, now finally, the Cowboys uh, beat the Bucks handedly. Dak Prescott, that defense looked amazing. They're playing a rookie in Brooke Purdy. Uh, let's start with, uh, they have not played each other yet this year. So that's obviously the first time we will see this matchup. And, uh, first let's talk about the defense. The Cowboys defense was rocking last week and Parsons is a big thing to do that. They got to Tom Brady last week and just absolutely punished him. And if they can do that again this week to a rookie quarterback in a big playoff game, like Brooke Purdy is, and, and if they can get to him like they did last week, game over. That is it. They are such a inconsistent defense, though. They're such an inconsistent team. I don't think they've gone two weeks of doing the same good things. That's why I'm just highly unlikely that they're, maybe their defense will do great, but their offense might not be able to produce. But if the defense gets to the quarterback, it's going to be it. So the 49ers are going to need to lock in their, their protection on, on, on Brooke Purdy. Brooke Purdy's a rookie, but he's a really good one. Yes, he's probably locked up that starter role 100%. And he's just playing out of his mind. But that can, I don't think it's streaky. I think this is true. But if for some reason, and hear me out here, if for some reason he starts to mess up, he starts to make mistakes, does that team have what it has to grind out a victory? And I think the 49ers do. Look at the weapons they have. I mean, McCaffrey, you know, uh, I'm not even going to name them all. I'm not even going to name them all. But there we go. And... I think, at this point, um, you know, the Cowboys are starting to call themselves the underdogs. Michael Parsons, the, the guy I just talked about on defense, says, 
I like being the underdog. He thinks they are the underdog, and I would think they would be the favorite, but obviously the 49ers are playing such good football. I would love to see a Cowboys early exit, personally. So I am taking the 49ers to win this game. Obviously, I think it's going to be grand. I think it will be the game of the weekend. Uh, next to the Bills game, that will be... All these games are going to be good, except for the Jaguars game. I, I don't have interest in that one. Those are my predictions right there. All right, that's that. I have the 49ers, the Chiefs, the Giants, and the Bengals all going to win this weekend. Obviously... That would make for a fun, fun weekend next weekend. Even if the favorites win, uh, if the Eagles go and win and the Bills go and win, I still think that would make for a great weekend. I just, I don't see it happen. I have two kind of upsets, I guess, technically, but my upset of the week is the Giants. My other little upset is the Bengals. Go Bengals, go Giants, go Chiefs and 49ers. Go Brooke Purdy. I mean, what a story. Brooke Purdy goes all the way to the Super Bowl. That would be amazing. Even going to the conference finals would just be great for that kid. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Enjoy this weekend. See you Monday. Peace out.